Welcome back, guys. I'm Molly Lisa. This is the third video of our Apex Sharpening System. We're on the red 120 dial, and we'll give you all the different angles at the end so that if you have the old dual angle sharpening fixture, you can still use that as well. Hey guys, this is the last video of our three-part Apex Sharpening Series. We've done a 1.8 C-Max as a 90-degree graver. We've done a Glen Steel Blank into a 105 graver. And now we're on the last colored wheel, which is a 120. And we also have a pre-sharpened 120 Glen Steel graver. This will just make it go a little faster, but it's not pre-sharpened, ready to cut. You definitely still need to um, go over it on your home. Okay, so now we're going to take our 120 dial and line the top of it with the tab right here. Slide the tab on the QC tool holder onto this tab here. Lock your tool in place. Okay, so now we're gonna go over our face line it up with the register mark and then it suggests a 45 degree angle for the post dial line that up tighten it down and then we're going to start on our 180 grit wheel you could probably since it's already pre-sharpened um go to a 600 or a 1200 but i'm just going to go ahead and start with my 180. <laughs> and it won't take long at all because it is pretty sharpened. So it makes it go a little bit faster for you guys. Okay, so we have one plane. Now we're gonna move on to the next grid. Okay, so now we have our face done. We're gonna go ahead and go over our reshapes. Line up the register mark and we'll move it to two and a half on the tool post dial, which is right between zero and five. Once again, I'm starting with my 180 just to make sure. Goes a little quicker. Okay, so you can see the two different tones there. We're just gonna go until it meets the point. Okay, so I'm all the way to the point. Now I'm gonna flip it to the other reshape. Everybody loves sharpening, just ask. Okay, so we're all the way through to this point too. So now we'll take it up through the grits. Okay, so I wanna point out the importance of sharpening these um, pre-shaped gravers rather than just rocking and rolling. So you'll see this is a little bit wonky. That's because it's machined that way. Well, I shouldn't say it's machine wonky. Um, they're machined at this angle, so it could be off just a little bit. This is why you need to do it, make sure that it's actually trued up. Okay, so we went through all of our reshape. Now we're going to go to our heel register mark. And it suggests the 15 degree tool post angle, so we're gonna adjust that. And then using no power on a 1200 wheel, I'm just gonna swipe it. You can see that little reflection right there. You can always go back and swipe it again if you want a longer heel, but it's best to start off short.
prevent heel drag. Okay guys, 120, ready to go. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. Thanks for watching guys. Go check out Metal Smith Society on Instagram. Corky has an awesome platform for jewelers to share their tips and tricks. If you're just getting into jewelry, this is a really good resource to use. And even if you're experienced, there's always new tips. So definitely go check her out. Then I need you to tag us at GRS Tools on your next Instagram post if you would like to be our next suggested Instagram user. I would also like you to like and subscribe to all of our social media platforms and throw those comments down below because we want to know what you want to see. Thanks guys. I appreciate all of you.